We are given F, G, and H as F composed G, and we want to find the critical points for all three of these functions. Well, we know the critical points are where the derivative is zero or does not exist. So we will start by taking some derivatives. F and G are just quadratic polynomials. We use the power rule, so we get x minus 3 for the derivative of F. For the derivative of G, we get minus 2x plus 6. So when you set these, okay, these exist everywhere. These are lines, in fact. So the critical points for f or the critical points for g, we just set the derivatives to zero. Okay, so here, this is the only critical point for f. And maybe I'll put this in a box. For g, again, this is setting the derivative to 0, and we get 2x is 6, or x is 3. Oh, okay, <laughs> we get the same one. Critical point for g. just answer 3 for the composition because remember to take the derivative of h, the composition, it's a chain rule. So let's write this here. It's the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside times derivative of the inside function. Okay, so when we're looking here, well, we have everything. You, so one way to go about this, if I hadn't already done the work to compute f prime and g prime, is you can just compose these two functions, f compose g, then you would have a function of x and you could take the derivative um, using this chain rule. That's fine, but since I have the pieces, I won't actually write out what h is. I have x you know, minus 3, and inside, I put the entire inside function. Maybe I will do that in blue. So inside, this is the composition. Minus x squared plus 6x. And then, I multiply this by g prime. So times the derivative of g minus 2x plus 6. This is the chain rule, and this is the derivative of h. Okay, if you look at this, and I haven't even um, really simplified, but you can see this is a polynomial, and h prime is going to exist everywhere, so the only critical points will be where this is zero. So if I set zero to be the derivative, well, for the sake of making my life easier, I might factor out a minus sign, And here, this one, I don't think this factors. You know, what are two things that multiply to 3 and add to minus 6? I can't think of integers, at least, that would factor, so I will use the quadratic formula. Well, first of all, one solution is here, x equals 3 is one solution. That's by setting this one to zero, and then we have um, another solution where x is, is going to be negative b um, plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And if we do this, we get 6 plus or minus the square root of 24. This is going to simplify some all over 2. And finally, we can pull out a 4, and we will get, this is going to be a 3, plus or minus. If we pull out a 4, it'll cancel with the 2. Mm, it's 
square root of 6, like this. Okay, so you see we have three critical points for the composition. We have 3, we have 3 minus the square root of 6, and we have 3 plus the square root of 6. These are the critical points. 4H 